Hey, welcome to our next tutorial in the Angular 2 Tour of Heroes series. Um, first, before we start with routing, here routing, uh, we will update the Angular CLI and some of the Angular packages. So open your command line and first uninstall Angular CLI like this. When you hit enter, Wait a little bit and then again install the Angular CLI globally, like this. Okay, hit enter. And now you can open this project in the code editor and update these Angular packages, which will be on the version probably 2.2.1 to 2.4.0. All these packages and the compiler CLI. After that, go back to the command line and run npm install. Um, after this, run ng-serve and you should be good to go. As you can see, our app is running and it works like before. Like this. Okay, now let's go to the our code editor and now the first thing we will do before setting the routing we will separate our uh, data or view about um, heroes into its separate component so we will go to the command line open another tab um, and leave the ng serve running and write ng generate component heroes like this and when this is done we will copy all the things from the HTML app component HTML so cut it and paste it in the heroes component HTML like this okay uh, this is done and now go to the app component CSS and also cut and paste it into heroes component CSS like this and the same goes with the logic so in the app component TS we have a logic to get the heroes from our service let's copy all this too so here heroes and to the last method on select cut and paste it in the heroes component like this so I can overwrite this here and now we need to import some things in the heroes component yes so we need to import hero and hero service I have this auto import plugin for Visual Studio Code which works great um, but you can just copy these uh, pads here if you have the same structure and it should work for you too like this so here are from models here and here service from services here or service like this and now let's go back to the app, app component.ts and make sure that our code is clean we don't need these two anymore we can cut it out okay like this and now we will create routing for routing the best thing is to create a separate routing module in our app folder and we will do just that so right click on the app new file routing.module.ts and we will later import this module to our app module like this okay uh, since this is a module, we need a module decorator, which is ng module like this, and we import it from ng core. Um, and the syntax is like this parentheses, and uh, we declare imports, which will be router module, which we will import later for root. And here we will specify our roots, which we will declare later and the exports which will be also router module 
like this okay and our class will be called routing module like this okay now all we need to do is to declare these routes here so we will create new variable const roots which is a type of roots and we declare them in an array so make an array like this and first root will be first root will be so the path if the path is um, empty so localhost um, 4200 and slash will be on this root and we will redirect to redirect to slash dashboard so our um, primary view will be dashboard and we need to declare if the path of the url is full so uh, if it matches in full we will go here like this and the next root we need to make this a little bit prettier like this okay and we can just copy this the next line so if the path is dashboard so slash dashboard we will also redirect to our dashboard but with another syntax which is if we declare component we can specify the dashboard component uh, we don't have dashboard component uh, so it will be red for now but we will create it later so we import ng module let's import roots too um so import roots from angular router like this uh, dashboard component and also router module from router module from angular router okay and now we should get intellisense for the next one so it will be heroes if we navigate to heroes we will go to the heroes component and we import it like this okay and the next the last one will be if we go to the details of a um so if we click on the hero we will be redirected to the hero detail component so um we will navigate to detail slash and now the id of hero we will go to the hero detail component like this and we move it down here if you don't have auto import just look at these paths and dashboard component is red but we will uh, make sure to create it later like this okay now the next thing so we have a routing module but we don't have it in our main app.module yet so we'll go to the app.module.ts like this under source app and under imports let's just import it like this routing module okay so under imports routing module and import it here dot routing dot module cool um now let's go back so this dashboard component is red let's create it so uh, similar to before go to the command line ng generate component dashboard like this our dashboard component is created and now we can import it here in the routing module and next we will um, put some html into this dashboard component so dashboard component.html if you open it you can delete this and write uh, some h3 tag my dashboard uh, some h3 tag again top heroes so on the dashboard page we will display top four heroes 
and we will put it in a do with a class of grid and grid path. This is just for styling later. Um, so we will um, repeat this uh, four heroes in the anchor text. So anchor text and um, ng4 like this. Let hero of heroes standard syntax for iterating over the uh, array. And now we will put some uh, special HTML tags in here. So router link. So if I will click on one of the heroes, we will be redirected to the slash detail and we will pass the hero ID. So slash detail slash hero ID. And we put it into these uh, square brackets like this. And also we here, here we will apply some class. Uh, so for the styling, this which will, will be column one four like this. And we here uh, now we will also display the name of the hero. So new class is the module hero again for the styling. And in here we will put in the h4 hero name like this close this and close the anchor tag uh, okay now we need to go to the dashboard component ts file uh, so we can provide these heroes uh, to display here so heroes component.ts uh, dashboard component.ts like this and now we implement it we will put uh, one variable called heroes, which is a type of hero array. And we initialize it on the empty array. We import hero from models hero, like this. And now similar like before, uh, we inject the hero service into the constructor. Hero service. Like this is a type of hero service. And on the ng on init, we call this hero service. We get all the heroes back. And then we use these heroes and we assign it to the heroes array in our component, but we slice those heroes that we just get um, four. So one, two, four and uh, this way we will go the top four here so the first four here from one index to the five like this and now um, the last thing to do in the first part of routing is to go to the app HTML app component HTML here is empty because we move it uh, to the heroes and here we will uh, add some navigation to so to the dashboard and to the heroes um, page so we add title like this um, and we put the navigation to navigation tags and the syntax is like this uh, anchor tag path anchor tag router link similarly before and we navigate to the slash dashboard like this and uh, another um, attribute is router link active if this link is active we will apply some active class to it and this will style this uh, anchor tag like this and we just duplicate this and if we click the heroes anchor tag we will redirect to the heroes and underneath that we need to also put the router outlet which uh, tells our component this is the routing like this and this should work now if you try it in the it gets built and if i click if i navigate to the root so just slash it will be dashboard heroes will be heroes and back dashboard will be dashboard 